You wake up in the morning with a bad hair day, but you really want your hair to be slayed. Go to Queen T. Go to Queen T. Go to Queen T. Hey, 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 it's Queen T, and I'm back today with another quick, quick, quick install. Remember, I had given you guys a little bit of a tease and told you that I had a game changer for you. So when you see me sitting here, y'all know that I'm being lazy. I'm sitting here in front of this TV watching my Ratchet TV. One of my guilty pleasures in life, but hey, this is me. I'm getting ready to go to bed, so it is kind of late here. It's about 9.30. Well, with this time change, I feel like it's like midnight right now. But So I'm going to go ahead and do this really quick um, glueless install. This wig, like I said, is a game changer. I got the wig from, I think it's a company called Curly Me. <clears throat> yep, Curly Me Collection. So it's a little 8-inch bob, little pixie cut bob. And the thing about it, wait till I show y'all this. It's supposed to be real beginner friendly. You're supposed to be able to just to pull it out the box, be able to put it on glueless and rock with it. Um, so you guys know that my number one golden rule is that I don't care if it is supposed to be able to be slayed right out the box. I'm going to always wash it. If I don't do anything else, I'm going to wash it. So I have washed, I have washed the wig. And here it goes. I washed and conditioned it, you know, with my... With my same old handy dandy standby, I use my um, Ozzy Moy shampoo, and then I use my silicone mix conditioner with a little bit of the Adore uh, clear dye in it, and I let that sit on the wig for about 15 minutes or so. Then I rinse it out, and I let my wigs air dry. So this is what it looks like. So here's the game changing part, you guys. So this lace comes already cut for you. It comes already pre plucked. Um. And I didn't bleach the knots. I wanted to. I wanted to really show you guys if this really works right out the box. If it's real beginner friendly. I mean, I'm. I'm gonna. Of course, I'm gonna tint the lace because I did not bleach the knots, and so I do think that I'm going to go ahead and tint that. But I mean, it looks pretty good. But I can still see that grid and whatnot. So I am gonna tint it with a little bit of my Ruby Kisses um, foundation cream foundation in the level 12. That's what I use. That's my color. But these come in a variety of colors, so you need to find the one that matches your skin tone the best. It does come with no combs. There's no combs in this. There's no combs in here. There is no comb in the back. There's no adjustable straps. All you have is this, is this uh, elastic, uh, adjustable elastic band to help you make it glueless. Now, this band um, kind of I, I, it might just be user error, you guys. I've been trying to fool with this and try to get it to stay on, but it, it comes off really easy. So um, I'm trying to do this video in real time. You know, I've been trying to do some different things on my channel to kind of see what's going to work for us, and maybe elevate us to the next level. So I'm going to try to do this in real time because they say that you don't really need to glue it down. You don't need to do all the things that you would normally do with a normal slate. So we're, I'm going to do this in real time and see if we can go ahead and get this thing cracking. So let's see here. I'm, I'm trying to get this band put on here. And I was working with it earlier, so I don't, we're, we're going to absolutely see, get this adjusted down. Yeah, I'm tripping off of no combs and no adjustable band in the back, but hey, I mean, if it works, it works. We're going to absolutely see, I'm going to go ahead and get this adjustable band tightened up. It's like the piano kind, like your bra strap. And I'm going to go ahead and tint the lace with my uh, cream foundation that I told you guys about a little bit earlier. I used the darker side. Well, I guess let me show you guys what it looks like without tinting the lace. So we're, gonna, we're just going to act like we're just taking this out the box and we are new to the wig game. Let me take off my... Um, so, yeah, if I still got on that same old, same old raggedy uh, ball cap, I just haven't changed it for the week. So, um, I just try to only do one like once a week so y'all don't, never mind. I'm going to go ahead and put some more of this foundation and try to see if we can get it, you know, I mean, it's still holding down pretty good. So, okay. <clears throat> so, here we go. Okay, well, it's fitting pretty good. It's 
definitely can be glueless. Um, but as you see, I am gonna have to go in and tint that that lace with my um with my foundation just because it, it's just so light. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take care of that right quick. I hope that everybody is having a good week. I know it's still early in the week, but I hope that you're having a good week. I know it's been cold as I'll get up where I'm at. Um, I mean, like downright cold. Um, so I've been in the house a lot this week. Aside from going to get my granddaughter from school, I've been in the house just working. Okay. Yeah, I think that's going to be a little bit better. Okay. See, there goes that band came off again. I just, I don't know, you guys. It just, it don't stay on there very well, it seemed like to me. That I mean, it, again, like I said, it could just be user error. I don't know. But, um, yeah. Let me get my hot comb on, because I definitely want a hot comb these edges. Yeah, I just can't get this band to stay in here. Sweet baby Jesus. Okay, I think that that helped. Okay. I need to go get my mirror so you guys hold on one second. Okay, so I'm also going to use a wig grip with this today. Um, just to ensure that it doesn't slide back. I'm gonna go ahead and tint that middle part since that's since this wig has a middle part on it. I'm gonna go ahead and tint the lace <coughs> um, of the wig grip. Oh yeah, that wig grip is really working too. I can hardly get it fixed. Okay. Well, it's definitely gonna hold it in place. Y'all know I can't part with a hill of beans. That is not my spiritual gift. But I was trying to be really careful when I watched it just so I could keep the part in there that it, that it came with. Okay. Move this up here a little bit closer. Scoot you guys back a little bit. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hot comb these edges back so we can see what the hairline is really looking like. And they might have just changed the game, y'all. Okay. Okay, so I'm 
So I'm gonna um, actually slide this back so I can hot comb this on top of this um, of this wig grip because I am so tired of burning my forehead. And I know y'all, if y'all can read lips, you know I be in there fussing and cussing on them videos um, every time I burn myself and I am so sick of it. So I saw another YouTuber do this and I thought that's an ingenious idea. I'm going to start doing that. So much better. I don't feel a thing. Woohoo! We might not even have to use any of our mousse to um edge belt or nothing, edge band or nothing. You guys know that I'm just extra. I got to get those. I really want to see what this hairline is looking like. And this is a four by four closure. So it's just four inches across from here to here. tricky with the with the weight grip on because it is gripping for sure you have to worry about this baby sliding back y'all look at that Yes, indeed. Let me slide this. I'm going to slide this wig grip back a little bit. We're going to get it together, y'all. We're going to get it together. Okay, that's better. Y'all, I don't even think I'm going to have to use none of my um, mousse to... Um, you know, to mold it down. I mean, look at that. I think they didn't pretty much change the game. I mean, that that is lacing. <laughs> oh, shucks. Now, I makes me wish I would have got one in a longer length. I just didn't know. You know, it was a new company for me, so I didn't want to spend a whole bunch of money. And if it really wasn't what they said it was, I was going to be kind of a little upset. Part straightened up a little bit. Now, you know, my old extra self, I'm probably going to go back in and pluck it. 
and I'm probably going to go back in and <clears throat> I probably won't bleach the knots because it really doesn't need to have the knots bleached. But I'm definitely probably going to go in and plug it just because I'm so extra. But you guys, you really could. And the hairline is not that bad at all on this. You really could go in. And off the box. Well, after you wash it, of course. Wash it first. Don't, um, you know, I'm never with that. Just plopping stuff off. Just plopping something on your head out the box. I just, that just don't sit right with me. But yeah. Okay, well, let's go ahead and get this. We're going to get this part. We're going to get this part um, together. Get this, get this uh, top part here flattened out. You know, I said no helmet heads. We can't do no helmet heads. So I'm going in with my, with my BFFs, my hot comb and my wax stick. Truly my best friends. And they will be yours too if you follow my lead. They are a must for any install. I'm just a terrible parter. That's all. But this is just so you guys, I'm not no professional. This is what I go through. This is what I do. If I can do it, you guys can do it too. I am. I'm human just like you guys. When it comes to, to slaying these wigs and laying these wigs. That's about the best it's going to be. <clears throat> I've never been able to part. And I got, I had two girls, you guys, and I could never part. So my kids, are, my girls always had zigzags and triangles, parts for their ponytails. Because I could not part straight worth nothing. But their hair was combed. They looked cute, but it wasn't all fancy. Okay. This is, um, like I told you guys, this is an eight inch four by four lace. And I do believe that this is HD lace and this is normally I get like Brazilian but this is my this is a Mongolian curly um and Mongolian texture is a little bit to me it's a little bit um thicker than Brazilian um and, and it's a little more coarser than the Brazilian it, it'd be more like African-American hair to me that's what Mongolian reminds me of so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do oops we're gonna detangle this and then we're going to go ahead and get it um get these curls defined i am trying a new product today there's a, a youtuber that i follow and she swears by this uh this curling this uh styling foam to define her curls and so i i have picked me up a bottle and i will put the link in the description box i got it from amazon of course, you guys know I get everything from Amazon. Okay. And the hair feels really soft though, and I'm not getting I'm not getting any shedding. I got one strand. It's not bad at all. Okay. Go ahead and spray this down. This is just water in my spray bottle. I mean, some people put conditioner, mix it some conditioner with the water in their spray bottle, but I just do water because um, I usually have a something that I use to define my curls with. So, and I try to find things that are moisturizing and don't dry out the out the hair. So I just use water. 
But I mean, you can put conditioner out there if you like, whatever you like. It's up to you. Now, this is extremely short. This is eight inches, but you guys know I like short hair. I love a short curly. But they do have these in longer lengths. And you know, Black Friday's coming, so I'm I'm I know that all these wig companies are gonna be having some Black Friday sales. So definitely check them out if you're interested in this wig. I will put the link to this particular wig down in the description box. Um, like I said, you can choose your you can choose your texture. They have Brazilian, Mongolia. I think they might even have Indian Remy. I wasn't sure. Um, but I, I selected Mongolian because I, I really like how, like I said, I really like Mongolian. And I haven't had a Mongolian texture in a while. So. Okay, so the stuff I'm going to be using, the new stuff is, is called Strictly Curls by Mark Anthony, and it is a styling foam. So it's not a, it's not a mousse, it's a foam, and so it's a lot thicker, and I'm going to show you guys in a minute. It's a lot thicker than a regular foam, and it doesn't, it's not, well, according to the YouTuber I was watching, it doesn't like water down like the other foam, so we're going to see. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's pretty thick. Look at that, y'all. Okay. We might have us a new um, styling product here. And I think it's going to be one of them situations where a little bit goes a long way. So I may have um, gotten too much. But, you know, everything is a learning process. And like I said, it's a new product for me. So we can learn together. I'm already digging the curls, though. The, the curl pattern on this, I am really digging that. There's a spot here in the back. I decided to go ahead and do this one since I'm doing it glueless because I do have another wig that I'm going to be doing a video on um, probably tomorrow since it's gotten a little bit late here, but definitely be looking for that video. Um, definitely by the end of the week. And I told you guys that I'm trying to elevate and step up my game, so I got some new stuff coming for you guys. I'm, I did some cutting on camera and everything. So I think you guys will be pleasantly surprised. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I like how that's defining the curls. You see that? Okay, okay. Yeah, um the, the the other YouTuber that I saw use this, the one who swears by this, her name is Miss Muffins. Miss Muffins and my lover. Um I've been watching her ever since I have been watching YouTube. Um she definitely is an OG in the game. Um she knows her stuff, she's good at what she does. Um, she is funny, and she's real. She's, she keeps it 100. Um, I, I really enjoy watching her video, so you guys should check her out if you get a chance. Oh, yeah. I'm loving the curl pattern on this. I might have to go order me a longer one because this is definitely, definitely giving it like i said um go in and, and pluck this hairline but that's just me again you guys see how it's looking right out the box you don't have to 
if that's not your thing. Um, you don't have to be extra like me. <laughs> Save yourself some time. A little bit of headache. But yeah. I'm kind of liking that. And with the 4x4 four four closure, you could do even a side part if the middle part isn't your thing. You definitely could do a side part. You got a little bit of room. Just want to get this together. And this is not sticky either, you guys. It's light. Oh I mean, yeah, I'm really liking this, this styling foam. It's definitely not a mousse, it's definitely a styling foam. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and pop some of my knot eraser in this part to see if I can get this part shaped up a little bit because you know like i said this just ain't my spiritual gift trust and believe it but i'm going with my hair fetish i can find my little <clears throat> i keep looking down here because my mirror is right here Now, this part is ridiculous. I tell you what, though, having that wig grip on there definitely stops that burning. Because y'all know I be burning my head. Just redefine these curls where I kind of had messed them up when I parted it. I'm still committed to y'all on these no baby hairs. Y'all y'all know it's killing me though, right? I'll be wanting some baby hairs. <laughs> I'm going to try to ride November out. No baby here, November. <laughs> Man, this is super cute. I probably will diffuse this off camera um, just so I can see how the curls um, 
you know, look once they dry out. Cause I don't wanna, I don't wanna do all that on camera cause that's probably take me about 10, 15 minutes um, to debut them on camera. And I'm trying to do this in real time for you guys. So you can see. So we had a couple of hiccups. But I think that we got it together. I think that it's cute. I think that I did okay um, with it. Um, you know, next time I do it, I'll be able to probably just throw it on and just and just get it taken care of like that. But this is real beginner friendly, real beginner friendly because you don't have to bleach the knots. You don't have to cut the lace. You don't have to pluck it. All I would recommend doing, because that's just my thing, is washing it. But if you're comfortable without washing it, that's too, too, that's cool too. No judgment here. Um, I do want to show you guys what came in the box. Like I said, this cute. It's this cute little box. I thought the box was just, the packaging was everything. And it came into a plastic bag. So this is an eight inch water wave Mongolian hair and it's 180% density. I got some cute, cute eyelashes. And eyelashes is cute, super cute. Got a band, an elastic band for laying your edges. Got some wig, your standard wig caps. And then it got came with a brochure that tells you about the care of the wig and whatnot. So yes, you get a few little goodies with that. Decent little goodies. The packaging, like I said, is really nice. Um, definitely took some time. It's quality packaging for sure. Um, it's quality packaging. So um, I hope that you've enjoyed this tutorial. I will leave all the information regarding this wig and the specs down in the description box below and all the, along with all the products that I use today for this install. I hope that you've enjoyed this tutorial, that you've learned something from it. And if you have not subscribed at this point, now would be a good time to click that subscription button and click that, no that notification bell so that you can become a part of my Royal Squad. For those of you that are already part of my Royal Squad, thank you for continuing to rock with your girl. You know how much I love and appreciate y'all. And remember, if you don't chase your dreams, you'll never catch your dreams. Until next time, bye. Like, subscribe below. Right below.